Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Clark Avenue back again with another video. You already know what time it is, man. Hit that like button for your boy. I hope everybody being safe and blessed, you feel me? Um, but today, man, we about to get right up into these text messages. And not so much of what the text message says, but more so of the time. You feel me? Because over here, we're going to get closer to the truth. That's at least that I could do is get closer to the truth for y'all. You stray away from the truth, you will start doing anything. You start blaming people. You start blaming people, getting mad at your own people. And you just end up in this space where you can't really get out of. Okay? So, like, the truth is the truth. You feel me? Um, I'm starting to believe that a lot of y'all don't know what truth is. But you stray away from the truth and you get to talking about everybody. And it's crazy that some people, such as blank blank, everybody he get into it to, he ends up saying they own the footage. And this is my question. Why is it that everybody that he gets into it to or comes Within the disagreement with, he try to act like he see them on footage. Everybody that you had a problem with, and these are your personal issues, you feel me? Everybody you had a problem with, you trying to say they in the footage. If y'all can't read what this man is doing, hey, you will continue to be in the sunken place. <laughs> The sunken place, but let's get right up into this video. I ain't we about to get into these text messages and time steps, man. I ain't about to deal with that today. Okay, now Kanika's personal cell phone, as you can see, entered September 20th, 2017. Now, we're not about to go through all these messages, but I just want to make I just want to make things a little bit more clear. Because this shit wasn't clear to me at fr up front. So I know it can't be clear to y'all. Now, September 8th was Kanika's first text message that was recorded. Okay? September 8th, 2017. 11 o'clock and 41 seconds. P.M. UTC. Like, I never really understood why they put UTC times on this stuff. But okay. I guess when detectives enter this stuff into a computer system, maybe this is how it comes out. Who knows why? It makes everyone's job harder. Especially, especially when you're trying to do research. And you will never find things out. You will never find things out if you do not research it yourself. Understand it for yourself. Don't never take a word from nobody. Okay? Nobody. Find out the truth. 11 o'clock, 41 seconds, p.m. UTC. All right. So I got this chart from the National Hurricane website. Everyone needs to understand that we are currently in standard time. Since November 1st, we've been in standard time. So if you're on the East Coast, you're EST right now. Eastern Standard Time. If you're in Chicago, all the way down to Texas, you know, you should be Central Standard Time, okay? This side. Now that we're in November, currently, right now, since November 2020, November 1st, Standard Time. This is your chart. Now, before November 1st, all the way down to March it varies, it varies that, you know, that when we get the time change, it's not always the same day in that month. It's not always the same day. So it just varies. So, so before November 1st, all the way down to March, that's when you have daylight saving time. You go by this same, this chart. That's why you have EDT instead of EST, like here. Eastern daylight time, central daylight time. So, so September of 2017 or any year, it doesn't really matter. September is always going to be in daylight savings time. You always read from that chart, CDT, EDT, wherever you at, okay? So this is what we have to read from. Now, it said 11 
a clock in 41 seconds. So we don't have seconds and minutes on this, just hours. So just use your head. Just add the seconds in your head. But here we go. 11 p.m. Okay. So we know 00, zero is midnight. 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 12. Let's see. 12 o'clock is noon. Okay. Now let's count to 11 just to be sure. 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. 23 is the 11 o'clock mark. So CDT would have been 6 p.m. So it was 6 o'clock in 41 seconds. Just making sure. CDT, yes. So it was 6 o'clock p.m. when Kanika sent this first text. Want to go to the show with the hood tonight. I believe she was talking to Monifa. But just giving you an idea. So if this is 6 o'clock p.m., you should be able to read all of these times. Okay? Because it's not far. Still 6 o'clock right here. 618, 645, 646. 648, you know, all the way down. So 1215 will be 715 p.m. Even though it crossed into the a.m. on the UTC time, remember, 11 p.m. is actually 6 p.m. So one more hour ahead is 7, 715. Hope I'm not losing y'all because very little people will stick around for stuff like this. Now, this one specifically, um, I don't believe they were at the hotel yet. So it was kind of weird that this was even here. Let me be a thought in peace. Stop trying to kill me, bro. Clown ass. That was at 5.02.42. 5.02.42 a.m. UTC. 5 a.m. 12 midnight. 12.02. 12.02 that was sent to Kanika's phone. Okay? Right here. 12.02. Midnight. Now, they had to be in either on their way to the liquor store or on their way to the hotel. According to the police statements, Kanika and them left... Either Miss Teresa's house or Lenora's house. I don't know. They left them at 11.30. That was the last time they seen Kanika that night. So this was, I never really understood this. Kanika did not respond to this number. So they're saying that Kanika never responded to this person right here. I, I attempted to contact the number with negative results received from automated voice message stating that the phone number is not accepting calls. I also attempted to run a clear search on the phone number with negative results on this phone number. So they claim they don't know who this is. But someone says that this is Shamaya. You know, which it could be, but I don't know. But I thought this was Shamaya. Like, this is Shamaya right here, I believe. She answered to Kanika over 30 minutes later when Kanika said, I'm ready to go. Me too. And it looked like his dick little. What the fuck that? Like, what that mean right there? But we, we not about to get into that. Because I got some stuff to show y'all. So I've always wondered, who were they talking about? What were they talking about? Because this was supposed to be in the time frame they was, they left from the house. You know what I mean? That shit weird. Now over here, now I believe this is when Kanika was texting Irene, seeing if Bree Bree can come. So they sent this text at 4 11 57 a.m. 4 11 57 a.m. I hate. UTC time. I really do. I really do hate UTC time. And the reason for that, especially within um, statements, police statements and stuff like that, 
it gives you a different time. So this can say 4, 11, 57 a.m., 9, 9. But if you go back to the chart, it's going to give you a time for 9, 8 because it's not even really this time yet. It's just it's UTC time. So that means they count five hours ahead from the actual time, and that's how you get this time. It's stupid. Now, 4, 11, 57. 4 o'clock a.m., that's what it says. 11 p.m. That was 11, 11. So that was 11, 11 p.m. 11, 11. You see, that's why I hate UTC time, because they give you a time. Because they give you a whole different time. And sometimes on a different day. That's actually the 8th. This is actually the 8th. But the UT time is what changes the date. So I want you to understand that. This is 11, 11. 11, 23. 11, 33. 11, 50. 11, 52. And then the next text by Irene is... I swear to God, around two something. She's talking to somebody about when Kanika had left that room was two something. And she kept saying it, two something. She left out the door. She been gone since two something last night. You know? And just to give you a time on this, when she was saying all of this, 348-1599. Okay, so we got 12, that's noon. 1, 2, 3, 15. 15 all the way across is 10 a.m. is when Irene was explaining to whoever that Kanika was gone out that room at 2 something. At 2 something. 10 a.m. in the morning. Okay? That's just to give you an idea, all right? Okay, but that's that's it for this one. Now, this is the one that bothers me, y'all. This is the one that bothers me. Now, we really, really need to understand that this was entered into their computer at 9-19, 2017. September 19th. Okay? Now, this red, I'm going to get to last because... There's a reason why it's red, okay? So, just to give y'all an understanding of what this is, this is the media that was taken from Monifa's phone. So, apparently, these are supposed to be the Snapchat clips. They're supposed to be, as you can see, album name, Snapchat. They're Snapchat clips. Okay, and notice that it was in deleted media, Apple deleted media. All of these are Apple deleted media. Okay, deleted, deleted. In this particular video, it shows Monifa and Kanika inside the bathroom of the hotel having a brief conversation, smiling and laughing. Now. Again, they give us UTC time, which is very, very strange because we have a created date and we have a modified date, which on this one, it happens to be exactly the same. OK, so created at 532, 16 p.m. This may not raise a red flag to y'all because y'all don't really Focus on UTC time. You know, if you're just now learning about, if you're just now learning about it, you you wouldn't even understand. But let me show you where I'm confused at because they never said anything about times are incorrect or manipulated. None of that. We don't see them talking about nothing as far as you know. Some of these times aren't adding up and shit like that. You feel me? They didn't. Five thirty-two sixteen. PM UTC. Let's see where we at. 
Oh, no, not this one. I got this one for that. <sighs> okay. So check this out. Now let me show y'all what bothers me. 5.32.16 p.m. Okay. Okay. I'm going to follow. I'm going to... For a second, I'm going to take the time out to believe them and go to 5.32 p.m. So we have 12, right? Noon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 p.m. If I go all the way down, 12 noon. Now, does that make sense, y'all? 12.32 how was that Snapchat clip created at 12.32? The 17 mark here is 5 o'clock p.m. on the UTC time scale, which takes us to the correct time at that time. It's actually 12 noon. How? Like, how can this be 12 noon? It can't be, y'all. Uh, so what I did was I changed the PM to AM because I wanted to see if the police and them manipulated this shit. You feel me? Did they switch AM to PM? So let's look at it. Because what does it say? In this particular video, it shows Monifa and Kanika inside the bathroom of the hotel having a brief conversation. Smiling and laughing. Like, how could they be in that bathroom at 12.32 noon? That's just not right, okay? They manipulated something. They didn't pay attention to this shit, or they manipulated it. That's what I'm That's what I'm believing. And since that's incorrect, since I know for a fact that Kanika and Monifa wasn't in that bathroom at 12.32 noon, September 9th, I think it's fair for me to go ahead and Check the time for a.m. 5.32 a.m. instead of p.m. And when I did that, guess what time I got? 5.32 a.m. Yellow. 5.32 a.m. 12 midnight. 12 midnight. 12.32 which is pretty much on the money. You feel me? Because I do not believe Kanika walked in that hotel at 1.13. No. No. Because looking at this manipulated time y'all gave us, that's wrong because PM, 5.32 PM, would have been 12.32 PM. And they were not in the bathroom. Like I said, a lot of y'all will not be able to understand this. So, switching that PM to AM. So, switching this PM to AM gives us this time. 12.32 midnight, basically. Okay? Doesn't that kind of line up? Now tell me if y'all think that lines up. 12.32. Because even though the footage shows us that Kanika walks in at 1.13, an hour before that will be 12.13, which will be before this, this clip. This clip, before this clip happened. Are you understanding me? So that would have gave them time to create this by 12.32. There's a reason why they gave us two times when Kanika was entering. One of them got to be right. One of them got to be right. And I think it was the left. 12 is when they entered that hotel. You feel me? I agree with that. Because Kanika left her peoples at 11.30. It's not going to take them a half an hour or more to make it to Rosemont. To this hotel, it didn't take them over a half an hour. So they arrived there at 
12, 13. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. I don't want to lose you because y'all need to really pay attention to this. In the comments, I want y'all to take the time out right now to write what did you just find out about this. Push pause because I'm going to say it right now. At 5.32 p.m. UTC time, this actual time, we learned that this is the wrong time. This is the wrong UTC time, 5.32 p.m. It shouldn't be p.m. Because p.m. will bring this time back to 12 noon, this same day. 12 noon. And they did not create this at 12 noon in that bathroom. No, this was the this was earlier that morning. Early, early, early. September 8th going into the 9th. That's when this was. So what I did was switch this PM to AM because I feel like they did that to us. I feel like they did that to us. It's only right for me to switch it back. You feel me? And when I switched it to that, just to observe it, it matches up to the time they would have really started this bathroom video sometime after they entered the hotel room. Switching it to AM will give you 12.32 when this was created. 12.32 in the morning, September 9th. That's what you just learned from this. I mean... That's what I just learned from this. You know what I mean? Apple deleted media. Let's go to the next one. This one in blue is also Apple deleted media created at 7.46.55 p.m. UTC. And what's in this video? In this particular video, again, it shows Monifa and Kanika inside the bathroom of the hotel having a brief conversation, smiling, and laughing. It also shows Monifa holding a plastic cup with dark liquid drink, and it's consistent with the color of Hennessy. Okay, we know this. Ain't that, uh... Maya. I think she drunk Maya. Yeah. 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 So that was around this time. Y'all know them times where uh, Monifa kept on recording the camera around Kanika, and Kanika did not want to be on camera. Kanika asks, Are you on live? And Monifa started laughing at her. And there's another one that Monifa uh, recorded where Kanika looked up at the camera and she said, Girl, that's all your ass want to do, and walked away. And everybody remember the one where Kanika's standing in front of the mirror and she say, you so irritating. And turn around. Yes. But this right now, in this particular video, again, you know, it shows that Monifa's holding holding a cup of Hennessy. And they said Kanika's inside the bathroom. So, that, like, that's what I showed you. It was around those lives, those clips. 7.46.55 p.m. UTC. Let's get it. 7.46 p.m. Let's just see. Let's just see. Let's just go to the correct time that they gave us. 12 noon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is the 7 o'clock mark, p.m. So that would make it 2 p.m. And we all know that is an incorrect time. This could not be 2 p.m. after that 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 party it cannot be like i said i switched the a the pm to am and that's what i highlighted here 7 am utc will give you 2 am in the morning that's what am gives us so that's pretty close now, this is where we need to think because it's clear that these times are screwed up, right? Because 246, if Kanika did walk the halls an hour before, 
this is this would be the time this this would be after that so like i'm i'm really really trying to understand this and i hope y'all are understanding this too because it's something about these clips y'all it's something about these clips they are recorded i believe that these were recorded clips and they weren't they weren't posted to snapchat immediately they were not it's many of y'all know that you can record videos and add them to Snapchat, add them to Facebook Lives. You can add all kinds of stuff. You feel me? They held out on these recorded clips when they posted them. 246 is what this is saying. Two forty six is what this is saying. Two forty six in the morning is when they're saying Kanika was in the bathroom with Monifa right here. Video four, Apple deleted media, just like everything else. And my thing is this: like, why would Monifa delete all this media? Why would she delete these memories of her friend the last day she seen her? Why would you delete those memories? That just sound, that sounds very awful to me. Very awful. Now this one in green. In this particular... See, now this is what's really going to trip y'all out. In green, in this particular video, Monifa is in the elevator of the Crown Plaza Hotel with Kanika and Shamaya. They didn't see Bri Bri. Bri Bri was in there too. You can see her reflection on the stainless steel in the elevator. Monifa begins by talking and you can see Kanika appear in the camera view and say something while smiling and dancing briefly. Shamaya turns around briefly and looks into the camera view. Now this is what really, really tripped me out. Of course, 836 PM UTC can't be the right time, y'all. It cannot be the right time. 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 20. 3 p.m. 9, 9 at 3 p.m. No, that's incorrect. Like I've been saying, I just want to show y'all what they gave us. I switched the p.m. to a.m to see if I can get a more accurate time. 8.36. 8.36 in green. 3 a.m. 3.36. Even they fucked up right here, y'all. Because Kanika was supposed to be had seen on footage, according to their footage, at 3.25. So how could the p.m. time be wrong, and how could this a.m. time be wrong? If y'all giving us the correct information, how? How could it have gone this wrong? 3.36, and she was supposed to be seen in the elevator. Like, how are y'all putting these in documents? How are y'all putting these in statements? And it's incorrect. It's incorrect. So that, like, Rosemont can blame it on the public or what? You know, that I mean, that's what it is. The public did mess this up. The public messed this whole case up. And that's the reason why we would never get anywhere. But at the beginning, they never paid attention to all of this. All of this is important because this is when Kanika was last seen in these footages. Get the fucking time right. Get the fucking time right. Okay? So, this is showing you that they never investigated enough or they manipulated this time. Because I'm simply switching this stuff from PM to AM and I'm getting very close to the time frames. Okay? Now, there is one time frame that seems 
about right. And it's not video five. Video five was September 17th. September 17th. And it was a video of Monifa saying, you know, my shorty Kanika was out here. She'll be right on my side. But that's after, days after. But red. Now, this right here just tells me so much about what ha happened with these lives. In this particular video, it appears it is Monifa's complete Snapchat story posted to her account, and it's 4 minutes and 17 seconds long. In the video, there are clips of, of Monifa inside a vehicle and appears to be going to the hotel party inside a vehicle with Kanika and Shamaya. The video cuts to a clip of Monifa in the bathroom displaying a bottle of Hennessy. The video also shows a clip of Monifa in the bathroom of the hotel with Kanika. Monifa is holding a plastic cup with a dark colored liquid in it consistent to the color of Hennessy. The video then shows a clip of Kanika inside the hotel room sitting down with a plastic cup in her hand, similar to the cup Monifa was holding and using to consume the dark colored liquor or liquid. There is, a, also, there is also another clip of Kanika sitting down in the hotel room drinking from the plastic cup, which is this. So this was Monifa's video. Monifa recorded this part right here. And it's weird. Look how long it is. Let me try to count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight seconds, less than 10 seconds, this clip was. Why? She definitely was showing Kanika drinking that drink. I know that much. So, that's what this red part right here is. And my thing is, they included this in the full, complete Snapchat story. They never did a clip by itself they never gave us information on the single clip okay they never gave it to us as you can see and i find that very odd during this time everyone appears to be singing and dancing and, and appears to be no problems at all within the hotel room yeah if y'all was really 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 concerned about this baby girl or your job you would have said, except for underage people drinking alcohol and smoking weed, and not to mention an overcrowded hotel room, which can cause these guests to be removed from this room. That's the biggest problem that nobody in that hotel did not do their job. And they're not even trying to point that out either. OK, so the time created, as you can see, I got the created time and the modified time, which are two different times. Close. Now, let's just look at this. We have an a.m. here. We have an a.m. So. My thing is this, y'all. You see how all these are p.m. 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 All of these clips. All of these clips had to be recorded clearly before this whole, before you can have a complete Snapchat story, right? Right. So this should be a later time than this shit, what they put here. Because this is a complete, this is when it's all done and you post it. This is your whole story. So that alone tells us that this is incorrect. Because this time right here, 
when this was created, the whole story, and it was clearly modified at 10.53, damn near two minutes after it was created, the whole story. Modified means changes made. I wonder what type of changes was that. Check the time, y'all. Red. So we have red. 1051. So 1051 a.m. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. in the morning. This is the time. Now, this is the time where Kanika's friends, Monifa Shimano, was getting ready to leave that hotel, according to the footage. Okay? Around the time. So, at the last minute, so at this time, the complete Snapchat story was finalized. Finalized. 551 and modified a couple of minutes after. So, what is that telling y'all? Did they switch these videos around? Uh, look, look, y'all. These kids, these kids was recording clips and posting them later. That's what this, this what that's what this is. That's literally what I get from this. Now, Irene's live is the only live that I believe was going on at the time that it said it was. So to me, they are manipulating the videos. The videos. So now that I'm at the end of this, they are, to me, they are manipulating when everything happened. So how could you have a, a complete Snapchat story posted at 10.51 a.m. at 5 in the morning? 5.51 in the morning. You never posted those videos at 9.9. Nine. And please don't get confused. And this time has nothing to do with Rosemont putting this into the system, whatever. Because this is 9.9. Nine. They didn't even have this information yet. And plus it says 9.19. Okay? They didn't get to this till 9.19. They didn't enter it until then. But what I'm saying is they never went live. Some of the videos was live. I'm pretty sure. Maybe one or two. But all those videos was recorded, y'all. Recorded and placed where they wanted it to be. And all these PMs does not match up. This is false information they gave us. False information. Because this PM will bring everything into the PM also still on the 9th. So it doesn't make sense. You would literally have to change this PM to AM UTC time and go by that time and get a more accurate time. That's how I know this shit was manipulated. Monifa deleted this stuff. And specifically this, this is what really bothers me is that they say they found clips of Kanika sitting down in the hotel room drinking out of a plastic cup. They say it in the complete Snapchat story. But they didn't give us the single information like these. These clips. These are clips. These are clips. That should have its own area down here. As a clip when it was created. And you know the same thing they did. They didn't provide us with that. With Kanika. Why? All they wanted to do was just. Was just keep stating. That Kanika was drinking and getting drunk but you didn't want to put the information on here it came from Monifa's phone Monifa deleted all this shit at the end of the day all this falls on Rosemont PD it will fall on Rosemont PD I believe something happened in the room I do believe that I don't believe Kanika died in that room no I don't think anybody in there is responsible for her death no, but they're responsible for 
mistreatment, the way they were handling her, you feel me? The way they were handling her before she left out that room. There was something else going on where it was probably more so of street shit, but they didn't kill her. The hotel, that falls under the hotel's responsibility because the hotel, because the hotel had to cover up for their own sake, not for the kids' sake, for their own sake, because Kanika did not walk in that freezer. And somehow she ended up in that freezer. Okay? That's why it's a lawsuit. I wonder if Miss Teresa know what was going on in that room. I wonder if she know what was going on in that room. And she's not talking about it because why? You know, they come from the streets. They real street like. You feel me? And you never know what you never know what people will do. She has a case against the hotel and the security companies and whatever. She has a case. One thing she don't want to do is lose on both sides. You know what I mean? She can't. She's not going to go after these kids because she will lose saying all this other stuff versus what her lawsuit is explaining. Simple as that, you know. I know Miss Teresa, she's smart and she and she can't she can't do that. You know what I mean? She cannot go for both sides. She cannot. But just like I said, I believe something was going on in that room. You know? A lot of y'all don't know it's a thing, but it's really, really, really a thing where at hotel parties and clubs and stuff like that, people purposely be drugging people. Purposely. Purposely, just for fun. They they find a lot of fun out of that for some reason. It's crazy. But they be drugging people for fun. And I seen it. I seen it happen. Because, again, let me tell y'all, I don't believe Ty Rowland's lives was at the correct times either. I don't. I believe he went live at one point. But I don't believe all his videos are lives. Nope. Uh-uh. Ty's live is not correct, y'all. That's what I believe. Y'all don't have to believe me, but that's what I believe. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But if you really, really, really pay attention to Todd's live, something is not right. And I'm going to talk about that soon. I'm going back. All right. So that's all I have for y'all today, man. Um, I hope y'all really, really, really understood this. And if y'all didn't, please take the time out to rewatch this. And understand it, okay? Understand it. Because what I just showed y'all is that they gave us incorrect times from the start. They gave us a p.m. time frame of UTC time. And it shouldn't be p.m. It should be a.m. All these times should have been a.m. This is the only one. It's crazy how all these clips had to be, had to come before the complete Snapchat story. And that complete Snapchat story was posted at 10.51 a.m. UTC, 9.9. So how could this even, so how could this ever be after that? How could it be after the complete story? Can It cannot be, y'all. Uh, it cannot be. This is manipulated. So I want everybody to go to this. Everybody, anybody who's doing research on the Kanika Jenkins, go to this. Understand it. Get the map. Pull it up. So yeah, that's what it is, y'all. 
That's all I have for y'all today, man. Uh, I really do hope y'all enjoy this real information. I'm just keeping it real because, you know, um, the best way I can. These times ain't real. I have questions. So, make sure y'all tune in to the next video, all right? I'll be back very soon. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Hit that notification bell. And when you hit that notification bell, make sure you click all. It's your boy Clark Avenue, and I'll be back with another video very soon, all right? Be safe, y'all.